For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwalls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review video on a product from Quest. So with me here today, I've got the Quest uh, Screenhouse 4 Pro. Um, I suppose the key thing to mention is that this is the Pro model, not the normal Screenhouse. So the Pro, in my personal opinion, is an awful lot better than the normal version. Normal version here is a price point, don't get me wrong, but for a little bit more, you know, a little bit extra money, you can get a much higher spec version with more versatility and the walls all included. And actually, if you price up the, what a normal one is and then add the walls, it generally works out cheaper normally to go for the pro version in the first instance. Plus, in terms of the walls, it seals better, it's more part of it. And like I said before, there's more features built into it as well. So the whole premise of the Quest Screenhouse is the original kind of pop-up shelter that uh, been around now for the best part of about six years, probably longer actually, thinking about it quick and easy to put up. The main body we can be picked up in less than a minute. We've done our own little pitching sort of tutorial video about how to pitch it up, um, as well as kind of a little bit more in depth about little tweaks here and there and different ways you can do it. So you've got the pro version, so it uses their uh, 210 denier fabric, nice strong fabric. Yet again, it's got their premium hub system. So it's a, a fourth generation pop -up system now. So they've sort of moved on quite a lot um, and something that's more robust and it's probably one of the strongest ones on the market if I'm being perfectly honest with you. The other thing you find as well is that because it's the Pro, all the sides are built on, like I said. And when they're built on, they're physically stitched along the top and then your zips down the side. So you have still the flexibility of having it completely mesh or then also completely enclosed, which you don't really get properly with the normal screenhouse. You still got webbing straps to kind of pop the system out. So again, that gives it more stability. So when you're sort of pushing it in, it keeps it nice and rigid. rigid. And again, with the Pro, because you've got these sort of side panels, there's also an inbuilt window into it as well. So you can again roll this window up, or well, external blind, I should say, to reveal the window. So again, you just tie that off. So you've got obviously a bit of light coming in now. You've still got protection against the wind, wind and the rain. Um, but it, say, for example, you wanted to you know, have it open like the traditional screen house, then you can just kind of unclip, you either unclip the uh, webbing strap like so. This then zips directly up. So you see how sort of thorough it is and how kind of well it's been designed. So that then goes up and then you just simply roll that section upwards I'll do a bit of a rushed one for the time being you kind of get the idea and then you've got ties to kind of keep it in place so like I said you get the best of both worlds you can have ultimate amount of ventilation so you can have all four panels uh, completely open and you've got the airflow so you've got this really nice uh, sort of premium mesh so it's very fine you've almost got this Kind of reinforcements to it which looks really quite smart as well um, so again if you want to have a an, an evening inside the shelter whether it be in the garden be in a campsite be on even some like a sports events for kids or you know it's a great way of making a little kind of waterproof station that's the key thing as well is the fact that the seams are actually tape seamed so it's actually generally waterproof it's got a 2000 mil waterproof rating whereas a lot of showers you see they'll be kind of showerproof i.e the material itself might be waterproof, but then the seams aren't taped, so you do normally get bits coming through the seams. And then you can just reattach that on. Sometimes easier to unpeg it and repeg it, but the clip's there for the ability to do so. Slide it on like a, there we go. But again, gives it a good sort of amount of strength. And again, because really the guy ropes, you want it sort of pegged firmly so it doesn't allow it to go in. And that's really what it's going to do. You know, it's pretty solid that way. It's just more the other way. And again, you can adjust it via the webbing strap as well. So if you do have a little bit of slippage, you haven't got to repeg it the whole time. You can just slip that down. You've got a nice skirt as well to help give a great seal. And even things like pegging points in the four corners and in the middle sections as well. You've got essentially three solid sides and then a front mesh slash door side. So this here can be, you can either have the door halfway, you have it sort of open. You can roll one back or both back if you want to. So you can roll that back fully. It then 
ties up like so. So ties up back again. Alternatively, there's also a, a, a fiberglass pole you insert in this section as well to give it stability in the corners where you haven't got that kind of crossing over system. But we'll zip that back. And again, the front door is also built onto it. So what you find is that, for again, for kind of getting that full on seal away from the elements, be it whatever it may be, you can quite happily do that. The door located just at the top here. So we'll just bring that down. Now you don't have to have the mesh in place with the door in place. Again, you've got the flexibility, you can sort of chop and choose. Whereas the other normal version, when you buy the door, you kind of have to have the door down. So that then zips down properly. Do that tie a second. So it zips down completely. And then you've got a kind of the whole kind of part seal on there. So again, completely blank front. What you've also got the benefit is, as well is there's lots of optional extras you can buy for the Pro Series as well. So on the front part just located here, there is an extra almost like a gusset with a, a, a additional zip. So what you can actually do with that additional zip is you can either um, buy a canopy to extend it out the front. And again, it it's, gives you a bit more, when we've, a bit more shout, if you will. Uh, in fact, as you can see here, Alternatively, what you can also buy is the screen shield, which is sort of like a three pound windbreak, as you can see here. And that screen shield actually physically zips onto the side of it, so it fully connects to it. So it feels almost as, pretty much as part of it, and you can make it as big a lift as you want to. And we've got a separate video on that as well, so you can always check that if you're a bit curious on what that is. Um, but more importantly, what I also do like is the fact that you can actually attach this to a VW or a transit van or whatever you want like you see behind us, um, and then that will also look like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a, pick the camera up a little walk round, just kind of get a bit more of an idea about it. Immediately one thing to bear in mind is the pack length is, uh, you know, over about one and a half meters, so it's quite long and thin but it's because all the poles are physically solid. So as you kind of come and look around here, you can have your kind of solid door scenario. Uh, we squeeze around the back. You can kind of have your window scenario, so you can see almost the mesh behind there. Or again, you've got kind of your full vented open scenario, which works really, really nicely with the storm straps. And again, front door. So as we go inside, you've got that sort of ultimate amount of privacy, that sort of privacy with a view, or full ventilation, rocking it through and then you're going to your little hub located at the top but really quite a smart model and the, the additional part is the thing that's quite unique other thing to bear in mind is that the shelter itself is uh 240 by 240 in terms of sort of the base scenario so 240 240 so it's a good sort of size and if you want there's also the sixth version which you can check out its own independent review video on but um yeah that in essence is kind of our video review, really positive model. Definitely prefer probably the pro version to the normal version. Um, but yeah, for more information, follow the link below, lead you straight to our website, and we've got more information there, as well as pack sizes, weights, uh, and also the other video about pitching it. But thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.